This cruise video starts off with us at the Hilton Galveston Island Resort, the cruise transportation we use to go to the cruise port. The Hilton Galveston Island Resort video is on this page, so go check it out. Love the water. So we're getting close to the cruise port, so you'll see some of these things if you're looking out the window. They did have to pick up a couple of other people from another hotel there, and then you'll see a sign that says Galveston. And um, if you're down in Galveston, you have uh, plenty of eatery options for you to choose from. Um, so you're so you're not isolated <laughs> when you're down there. This is the cruise terminal. That's the carnival ship. We are going on Princess. Typical look of what it looks like inside the terminal. And we're about to board. It was a smooth process. It wasn't a bad process. The car is in a designated place to stay for the week and we could just get on board here and enjoy our vacation. A beautiful, nice ship. So this is the sell away party. They have different uh, dancers, performers dressed in their attire of princess, um, Basically, dancing to music and saying sail away. Just showing you a snit bit of that. Afterwards, they did have other music and other people can come on and join them. As you can see, showing you the inside signs of welcome aboard and the decor. So this image is what it looks like for the mini suites. And we put a bid in for getting a mini suite. This would be our first time experiencing Princess. And it was our first time experiencing a mini suite on a cruise ship. One of the things that we did bid for was multiple categories of rooms. So we put a bid in for their deluxe balcony room and we put in another bid for another type of room. But we won the mini suite room. One of the things that Princess has that some people may not know is that they have um, a they have no window rooms. They only have a inside cabin room and then they have balcony rooms. But every balcony room is not the same. So there's some balcony rooms that that don't have the space like you would on other cruise ships. You have a balcony room you paid for and you have a little sofa. But with Princess, you can actually... Um, get a room that's a balcony without the space for the things that you may want to have, like having a couch in the area in your room to put whatever you want on there or to sit. And so we found out that Princess is different from other cruises that we've cruised on. And me and my husband has cruised on several different cruise ship lines. So we found out that the deluxe balcony room is a room that has a couch in it. Um, and we bid on that. 
we actually ended up getting that bed, but we ended up um, choosing this as our final bed. And we were excited because as you can see, there's room in this uh, mini suite. There's two TVs. There's a tub. Um, you get uh, a glass of champagne in your room. If you don't drink, please put that to the side. You get the spa amenity of the lotion, the shampoos, and the conditioners and things in this room as well. So I'll show you more of this room right now. A quick mustard station. Just use your medallion to do your mustard station after you watch the video and we were off to our room and this is our room m211 um the feature knows when you're close it unlocks i like the feature where you can put do not disturb and then the other feature yes i want room service so i thought that was really nice so the closet space was pretty roomy and in this area here, that's the safe and shelving. So I really, we really liked that aspect. We had plenty of space. That's the door to the bathroom. And the bathroom, we enjoyed the bathroom because it had a tub. We were so excited when our mini suite had a tub in it and it was just great. The spa amenities is in here as well. Um, they give it to you, the lotion and the body wash here and then some more shelving. And here is the bed very nice bed even though they say queen on their um website just know it is way bigger than a regular king queen and it's softer too i love the up of the light that i showed you there it was just a really nice um art feature i believe i say they have a tv in the bedroom and as you can see there's a tv in the sitting area we really appreciated the space of this room and this is in this angle and this is the balcony i just believe that the balcony is what it is you step out you go and you look um but the real space is in the room so we had no problem with that whatsoever because the space of the room was just great. This is when we was about to sell out. That's Galveston, Texas. And I just wanted to show you the view when there's nothing around, just pure water. This is another uh, feature outside of our room. The sun was uh, right there and it was another ship that was at port at the time. They had plenty of Love Boat episodes. We were just overjoyed. The This is the first time um, that we experienced a ship that had many TV selections. And the movie selections was so many. Other cruise lines, they didn't have a Carnival, Celebrity, Norwegian, are the ones we sailed on. Didn't have the variety that Princess have on their cruise ship you will not be bored in your room if you decide to stay indoors and watch a movie or watch a documentary anything 
It was great. They even have music and they even have a feature where you can wake up to music or go to sleep with music. Um, and it has a timer on the TV to uh, end the music or end what you had as a wake up uh, time, whether it's wake up with music, wake up with um, a show. It was just great. This is what it looks like if you decide to choose music, it'll just be a screen there. And then the time timer has which one you can choose from. It was just a really good ex experience. So let's explore this ship. So the Princess Theater, we love the love the colors that they have in here and different things. But the only issue we had was the spacing between the seats. It wasn't really enough. And that's why you see the theater filled with seats because they just did not put enough space between the seats so they can give you more seating. Um, this is a class that I saw um, where they are uh, moving movement exercise that they're doing on that day. And this is the uh, Love Boat cast. I grew up with Love Boat. So this was so great that this is the Princess Cruise, the Love Boat. That was the cast from when I was growing up, seeing them on TV. And they have this encased in a glass. Um, and this is the shops area, so I'm just walking around here. But Princess is the ship of the Love Boat. So if you ever see the Love Boat on TV, you would see that it is Princess. And this is the library. Uh, you can actually peruse this area, sit in this area, or take a book or take an activity out of this area. And you just have to bring it back. You don't have to sign out for it. You just bring it back. This area, I just really like the colors that they have in here. And this is a place where people can get food. And I'm trying to get close as possible to the menu. But if you don't see the things on the menu, you get it. It's just one of the places on the ship that gives you great food. And they were slowly but surely putting out the Christmas decorations. So you will see um, some that will come up. And this is the Princess Live. This area here, um, inside I didn't show you, but it's just the area. This is the Princess uh, Live bar here as well. They have the morning show done in the Princess Live. So on your TV, you can see them talk about different things. And that's the place that they go to film it. And this is an area where if you wanted to do a future cruise, they got deals, discounts and things. And you just, you know, sit, wait your turn to uh, put a deposit on a future cruise. So it's kind of like a circle. So I actually just circled around with the shops here on this floor. And this is an area where you can, you know, get souvenirs and different things in here. So I'm just showing you um, in here a little bit. And this is the cologne perfume shop so who like who who doesn't love smelling good right so this is the area where you could go and you know check out different samples that they may have out and just uh peruse on in this too in this area too
And this is the area for the art art gallery, so you can peruse that. This is the uh, concierge lounge and the wedding chapel. Um, the concierge lounge is really for sweet guests, um, but this place inside that I want to show you uh, lays it out. So if you wanted to have like a little snack, you can get it here. You can sit and relax in here. It's exclusive for sweet guests. So just wanted to let you know that. And then the chapel, um, the chapel, of course, somebody can get married in the chapel, but um, I found that they do um, prayer in there. So in the morning, this is the chapel area. In the morning, they had prayer. I thought that was really, really good and special. This is a night scene of the uh, movie that they were having this day. And this was just a snippet of when they was doing this one game and the staff was down there. And this um, individual, the music was great. We was able just to sit and across from the actual music is the area that uh, serves gelato, which um, we enjoyed. And so we were able to get what we wanted each day um, and enjoy uh, a scoop here, a scoop there. <laughs> So this dessert is a dessert that if you had a package, this inclu was included in your package, this type of dessert. Um, so this is the package that we ended up getting, the Princess Plus. There is another package called the Princess Premier. But this one we um, wanted to take advantage of. You get the uh, unlimited juice bar, you get the fitness classes, you get the premium desserts. And the last clip you saw, you see how it was decked out very fancy with the desserts but if you don't like the way that it's designed you can get it simple you can get scoops of gelato or you can get a uh, gelato in a cone um one of the other things in this package is the room service delivery and it was a great experience um because we like to relax and you know have our food um be given in our room they have this new thing called the ocean now delivery where you could be uh, anywhere on the ship and if you wanted to have uh, food delivered to you you could uh, utilize that so this is the package that we got uh, that we had added to our mini suite i wanted to mention the crew appreciation is the gratuities for your days on the ship This area here, as you saw, is the area where adults can come out, relax. There's an area also up here that is called the sanctuary, which you'll see. That area is the other part of this at the top. You pay for the uh, service of uh, like the lounges and things you can rent as well. But this you don't have to rent. This area here is free. One thing that makes the sanctuary special is the decor, is the service that you get. This area here you can uh, rent out see the TV, sit back, relax, have someone come to you with the food that you want. 
and so they range in different slots so you just have to check it out but I'm up here just to show you what the sanctuary looks like when you're up here and if you want your spa treatment to be up here that's what you see there it's a great atmosphere great place to take pictures So you rent these out for so many hours. And I think it's a half day or a full day. So you want to check when you do, if you want to use this service. Very quiet, very serene. Um, it's great. This is now back where the movie movies are held and other things that they show. Had to get the emblem of the love boat. The view is amazing. Um, had I had a chance to go to the top and pan out for the view. mini golf area. This is the sky walk, if you dare. Some people are afraid of heights, so this may not be an adventure for everyone, but I wanted to show you what it looks like, and I wanted to show you uh, the up close and personal when you're walking what it looks like. Overall, we give this cruise a five. We enjoyed the mini suite. We enjoyed the Princess Plus package. We enjoyed the things that came with our trip. And don't forget to check out the videos of the hotels that we stayed in. The one that took us to the cruise port. You may be interested in that when you are traveling out of Galveston, Texas.